Hi, I'm Kathy Kirkwood, and I'm here to show you my brand new cami. It's on QVC, exclusively Kathleen Kirkwood cami with removable double chiffon sleeveless blouse with a removable accessory scarf. So let me walk you through some of the great features of the foundation piece. First, the sleeveless blouse. It is feminine, pretty, chiffon, but what's the problem with chiffon? It's usually a little too see-through. But this is two layers. You can even come in a little bit close right now and see. There are two layers of chiffon. And that just makes it a little less opaque and not so see-through so you don't see it wrong. There are buttons in the front. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And a snap that makes it, when you're not wearing the scarf, a beautiful, clean, very modern, may recall. And then, of course, the removable scarf. The scarf, I'm going to turn this mannequin around, is detachable with dyed to match buttons. So if you see here, there's one, two, three, four, five buttons that we're going to take the scarf off. And I just want to measure it and show you what you're getting. And it's six inches. Tip to tip, we have 20, we have 40, 60, and I think this is going to go all the way to 81. So that's a good seven feet of scarf. So let's get started. We have about 12 different ways we can show you that you can wear the scarf. I've been starting with one of my favorites. It's the Grace Kelly Vertigo. You can see it in the front, and you see the drape in the back, and this is how it's done. We'll take it apart and start from scratch. I have them all buttoned, all five buttons in the back. All I do is take the scarf around to the left, around to the right, then I lean over, just loop one very softly, let it flow, and I call that the Grace Kelly Vertigo. This one's called the Standard Bow. Okay, just as the name says, it's pretty standard. You just wrap it around once, tie a loop, wrap the loop, pull the bow apart, and I recommend that the bow pieces are the same level and length as the end pieces. And that is a classic stand. A variation on the standard bow is the petite bow. And all you do is take your standard bow and pull those ends down a little bit, tug back the bow pieces until you have a much shorter bow at the top. I recommend that you count one, two, three buttons down on the blouse and that bow drapiness should hit that third button and then it just looks cute. Okay, I have a favorite. It's called the Paris bow. And you attach all five buttons, you wrap it around your neck once, you wrap it around the second time, and just tie a bow to the side. Take the long piece, put it around, a little bitty bow to the side, get a little Paris style, open those bow pieces, and you're ready for the chance of these ends. To mix it up a bit, we're gonna take the scarf, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six buttonholes and six buttons. Take the right buttonhole, and fix it to the fur furthest button on the left. So again, that's the right buttonhole to the left button. And obviously you're gonna get a little bit of an uh, right side shorter, the left side is longer. And you just flip it around, and you take that longer side, and make a loop, you go around, the longer side, and you create just a little knot. You pull the knot tighter, and then you take that single side bow, and you drape it so that you have a long, a short, and a drapey pillow. This is called Country Turtleneck. You just hold the scarf somewhere in the center, and you bring it close to your neck backwards. Wrap it around once in the back, 
when you get to the front, just a soft flip. Come close to that turtleneck. Maybe even widen the turtleneck so you really get that look. A nice wide piece here. And then once you have something soft, you just leave it hang. It's like a great country turtleneck. And as an alternative, you can take those two pieces, open one button, give your neckline a little bit of openness there, and then put the ends inside the sleeveless blouse, and you have a hidden country turtleneck. For loop de loop, fold the scarf in half, both ends on the bottom should be evenly. Wrap that loop around the neck, then wrap the other side around one more time. Get those ends and put it through the loop. Fluff it up a bit, and you have, I just love this one. It's so cute. Gives you turn leg. One of our most popular, the infinity scarf. Just take the scarf and find those little ends. They're on an angle, so they're easy to find. Now, some people like the infinity scarf so much, they just take these two tips and take a needle and thread and just do two or three tacks and it stays for good. You could do an infinity scarf every day. But if you want to do it as you go, one tie with those two ends and then another one to make a secure knot. Then take that knot, put it behind your neck and you just wrap, twist and wrap, make those two pieces meet, flow them, and you have a great infinity scarf. An alternative to the infinity scarf is to make one a bit longer and one a bit shorter. That's just a nice variation. Or the third variation is to make the top layer a little bit tighter. You wrapped it around twice already. Just do it a third time and you have the look of a great palette. Okay, now we're going to dress it up a bit. Let's do cummerbund. First, take that little snap at the end of the Nehru collar, snap that and make it a clean finish on the top. Then take your scarf, fold it in half, and the half that has those buttonholes go against the top right under your bra, wrap it from the front to the back, and back to the front. I like to tie my cummerbund with a little knot and put it off to the side. That's how we roll. Okay, now for something completely different. Let's do a sash. Take your scarf and just put it through your belt loops. I like to start in the front and go from the left side belt loop all the way around to the right on the side. And off center, take the ends evenly, tie, Take the bow, off to the side, open those bow petals, and just really get a great sash look. I love it. It really swims out the hips. Right. Well, that's about a dozen ways to wear this Kathleen Kirkwood cami with removable bow. I hope you like them all. Have fun. Pick whichever one you want. And if you have one that I missed, post it on my Facebook page, Kathleen Kirkwood. See you on the queue. If you like this one, it's a 217228.